If you use any kind of social media, you've probably received a weird DM or private message before. Maybe it's one of those scam fitness lifestyle accounts saying, hey girl, we have a modeling opportunity that you'd be perfect for. Maybe it's a random Twitter user with nothing but numbers and letters in their username asking you to send your social security number. Or possibly the most common of all of them, hey hot stuff, there are singles in your area, click this totally not suspicious link to find them, winky face. By this point, most people on the internet are used to receiving these kinds of weird messages from bots. But Tumblr users were blindsided when Sexy Girl Max 2019, what they assumed was a bot, didn't send them a link to singles in the area, but instead the phrase, hey pea brain, you teleport? This single message would spark a site-wide investigation into this account and the dark web of mysteries behind it. This is the story of hey pea brain, you teleport, also known as Max 2019. Before we get into things, I'd just like to give a huge thank you to the wonderful Skillshare for sponsoring this video. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you might already know what Skillshare is. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes on basically every topic imaginable from painting to filmmaking to cooking to health and fitness to sewing to animating and literally everything in between. Last time I talked about exploring Ira Mark's concept art course for an animation project I'm working on, so this time I've been discovering Melissa Lee's character design crash course. You know, I want my characters to look good, and this course has been perfect for learning about that. It's not just art and illustration though, if you can think of it, there's a class for it, from meatball creation to video editing to getting into freelance and much more. I also add this every time I work with Skillshare, but if you're looking to get into making YouTube videos, Skillshare has a veritable treasure trove of videos on filmmaking, script writing, editing, and all that good stuff. Whether you're looking to learn like a brand new skill or just build on the ones you already have, Skillshare is great for hobbyists, experts, and everyone in between. The first 1,000 subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can start exploring thousands of fun and inspiring courses today. As always, awesome to be working with Skillshare again, they're genuinely so cool, really wonderful community, so click that link and come learn with me. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video, and now let's get on with the story of Max 2019. The saga of Max 2019 can be split into four days, so that's how I'll section up this video. Let's start with day one. So Tumblr has a huge issue with porn bots. These are basically automated bot accounts with a bunch of letters and numbers in their name and pictures of scantily clad women messaging you like 22F looking for a good time, click this link. In some cases they'll just send you links and dip, while in other cases they'll try to engage in an extremely rudimentary conversation with the person that they're trying to scam. These bots have been a problem on the site for a really long time, if you're a part of Tumblr you've probably been messaged by one of these things and it's to the point where it's kind of become a meme on Tumblr. Plus, it's brought us these brilliant posts where instead of a sexy lady, the bots accidentally used artwork by Trevi Henderson and David Romero. Very alluring. The point is that at this point, most Tumblr users are accustomed to weird bots sliding into their DMs and sending them links and messages, but Sexy Girl Max 2019 was different. On June 20th of 2018, a number of popular Tumblr users, including Femoids and Kramergate, received messages from this account, reading, Hey P brain, you teleport, and hi P for brains, can you teleport, respectively. The two posted the screenshots to Tumblr, obviously baffled and amused to receive such an uncharacteristically hilarious message from a spam bot, and their post each got over 10,000 likes, with the phrase becoming somewhat of a meme on the site. But there was more to it than just being a goofy phrase, and Tumblr user Surreal was one of the first to catch on to this, creating a post which now has over 100,000 notes. Checking the timestamps, all of Sexy Girl Max 2019's posts have been made today. They're formatted impeccably like bot messages and posts, but they're just a little off. This isn't a bot, this is a human controlling a blog acting like a bot. All of the links aren't porn. The mysterious bit.ly links to this site. Surreal then linked to a website that Sexy Girl Max 2019 had posted to their Tumblr blog called max2019.neocities.org. Already, Tumblr users were hooked into this mystery, live posting their findings from the website as they delved deeper into the maze of links and pages. H-U-R-L. A simple army roams the plains, a lover cries out to my name. When heaven falls and kingdom come, all no limbo will be done. Click here to instantly transport. Below this, a small cropped image of a woman taken from a nude 13 month calendar. There was also a live stream embedded into the page, though this is now broken and was viewed by very few people at the time with only one screenshot remaining. It seems to depict a pink bedroom with a dark shadow over the left side, and viewers who did see the live stream described it as quote creepy. At the bottom of the page, there was 
several links. See me here, touch and talk to me here, and remember Anita, as well as the text, can anyone hear me? I'm so sick. Broadcasting Anita, can you see her? I'm so sick. I can't let you see her anymore. Anita's room is painted pink and is always full of light. So what on earth was going on here? This disjointed and bizarre site was far from the regular scam cam girl websites that these bots would usually link to and as users dug deeper into the maze of embedded links and images it raised more questions than answers. As the investigation continued Tumblr users began to wonder if they'd been pulled into some strange ARG or viral marketing stunt while others worried that maybe they'd stumbled across something that they weren't meant to see. Users started by combing through the Max 2019 website and keep in mind this is a map of every page on that site so understandably people were pretty baffled and confused. It's a bit of a maze. Common themes on the site were random and distorted images, biblical passages and references to illness. The link hear me here led to a page with the line I'm so sick repeated 14 times as well as a Vokaru audio link of a high pitched telephone like noise. See me here led to a simple page with three images, a plain ceiling and light, a dark green sky at night and a personal prayer card with the same biblical style verse as was on the homepage. Touch and talk to me here led to a Tumblr blog called lovely5500 with a video of what appeared to be some sort of humanoid shape writhing and glitching on a TV being recorded by someone with a loud screeching sound in the background. Those investigating the Remember Anita link were led to a page called Anita and Max's Internet Memories which compiled links from January of 2009 all the way up to April of 2018 and had a Minecraft instrumental embedded as a vocaroo. These various links led to websites like lolcats, mushy monsters, pop tropica, deviantart, youtube, wattpad and even ms paint adventures aka homestuck. Because literally no matter what fucked up corner of the internet you find yourself in, homestuck will be there. At the bottom of the page text read, this is truly the experience of a contemporary guardian angel. Back on the main page the only remaining link to click was the cutoff calendar image which led tumblr users through a series of clickable distorted images before reaching this image of what appeared to be an angel. H-U-R-L, hierarchy of uniform resource locators. Users could click on the angel a total of four times causing her to become more and more distorted before the page would go black and display the text connection lost. Clicking on this text led to a page with a glitching image of an angel and the text struggle with thy doubts, cast them aside, forsake not thy faith, sickness will not take thee. This phrase will come into play later on. The following pages led users through a series of glitching angel images with such phrases as click to go to a happier place and being present for a child's growth and development is very important. Finally after clicking the last angel image Tumblr users were led back to the lovely 5500 Tumblr blog. It's worth noting that that entire sequence of pages that we just clicked through were named after the hierarchy of angels. Seraphim, cherubim, thrones, dominions, powers, virtues, principalities, archangels and angels. Are we starting to see a theme of angels here? Clicking through all the links and looking at the site map can make this feel like a super convoluted maze of links but when you break it down it's pretty much just a sequence of images that you can click on with a bunch of biblical passages and images. After exhausting the Max 2019 Neo City site, Tumblr users quickly moved on to the lovely 5500 blog, but not before going back to the original Sexy Girl Max 2019 blog to try and interact with it. Believe it or not, the genius mind behind Hey P Brain You Teleport actually responded to some DMs, mostly with phrases like I'm sick, can you come, and I'm trapped. Again, more angel stuff. Meanwhile, users explored the lovely 5500 Tumblr blog, apparently run by a girl called Anita. The blog seemed to be a regular teenager's Tumblr blog with a queue of reblogs consisting of beanie babies, cute animal pictures, and angelic imagery. The about section reads, I'm Anita. I'm a cis girl, she, her. I love girls, beanie babies, and apple pie. I love you. Have a wonderful day, smiley face. Anita's first relevant post was on the 21st of June 2018 and read, I totally forgot this blog existed. I just remembered it because I got bored. I'm homesick, sad face. My mum won't take me to the doctor, but I guess I'll get better at some point. Shortly after this, Anita began making posts about the sheer number of messages and asks she'd been receiving about the Max 2019 website, expressing that she was confused and overwhelmed. Kind of understandable considering she's just a random 15 year old who's suddenly been given this massive influx of random questions. Despite this, Anita expressed that she wanted to look at the website and felt like it quote, wanted to tell her something. She also wrote, I'm thinking things over but for some reason I don't feel like I'm in danger. Max won't hurt me. Users also noted that Anita's text was Zalgode, which is basically when the text has these glitchy lines on it, though she noted that she didn't know why this was happening to her posts. Anita would continue answering asks throughout the evening, including one that quoted a passage
message from the Max 2019 website. She responded in shock, writing, Who are you? Where did you get this from? I don't know how you got that. My grandpa was sick and he got a poem. He did die. By this point, day one seemed to be coming to an end with no further updates on any of the websites and Anita's post slowing down. Before the day ended, a page on the site called Day One was updated to read, quote, I saw Anita. I updated Scene Teen's blog for productivity. Anita's symptoms are not related, but she will see death too if I cannot get to Earth Sphere. The eye of HURL is ever so watchful. I saw death today. Thank you for listening not recorded well enough. I spoke into my microphone again and I will embed it here. Limbo is so hot. Resurfacing from the second circle was the hardest thing I have ever done. I'm being pushed down but I will not allow myself to sink. By day two, more and more Tumblr users had been roped into the investigation. A large number of users on the site were carefully watching Anita's blog and the Max 2019 Neo Cities site for updates. At this point, many people were still unsure of exactly what was going on, but still they diligently compiled all the new posts coming out in an attempt to sort of decipher what exactly was going on. On day two, Anita's blog simply ran on a queue and reblogged queue animal pictures. Meanwhile, on the Neo Cities site, a new link was added. Smell me here. This link led to another Tumblr blog the aforementioned scene teens with an adorable emo edit of the default tumblr icon. More specifically it linked to this post by them made all the way back in January. Sickness stench is one of the most evil things a being can produce. The online equivalent of sickness stench is nothing an angel could ever produce unless they were trapped in limbo. Sickness stench includes some of the following experiences. Dizziness, nausea, black spots, wet spots, screaming, hitting. If you can't get a hold of yourself contact your guardian angel. Pray. Despite the fact that it had been around 6 or 7 months since their last post, scene teen suddenly seemed to become active again after users started engaging with the blog. They made a post expressing excitement at all of the new engagement and promised that they would share their knowledge. And share it they did. Over the course of the day they posted a huge amount of information specifically relating to angels and Tumblr users started to put together just what was going on. They learned that angels communicate through the internet, everybody has a guardian angel, angels in danger will go under the guise of quote, popular internet archetypes, possibly explaining why Max was communicating to people as a Tumblr porn bot. Telephone calls are hotspots for angels to communicate, possibly explaining the multiple instances of high-pitched telephone noises on the Neo Cities site. Angels can be banished to a place called Limbo, but only if they are in, quote, the lower spheres. Users theorize that this is where Max was located, as they had written about Limbo being hot and feeling trapped. If an angel is infected with sickness stench for too long, which, as we know, can only be contracted in Limbo, they die which also causes their human to die as well. Angels can be defined as Uniform Resource Locators or URLs. This makes HURL Hierarchy of Uniform Resource Locators or essentially the Hierarchy of Angels. Users also learn that Scene Teens was likely an angel. Upon being asked, they simply responded, I don't associate with Hurl anymore, okay? They also seem to have no concept of gender and addressed one Tumblr user as human. So, uh, confused yet? Well, so are a lot of Tumblr users, only seeing tiny snippets of information on their timeline as users scramble to compile all the information coming out. By this point, some keen investigators were starting to catch on to what was going on, but the story had yet to unfold over the next two days. Don't worry, we'll get to it. Before the night ended, Anita made another glitched post about feeling sick. By this point, both Sexy Girl Max 2019 and Scene Teens were only replying to DMs with Hurl is watching, and the writing on the day one page was replaced with the same phrase. However, a page called Day 2 was created and read, Anita remembered. I saw the expanse in the midst of the waters. I am in peril. Heaven is crashing down on me. Day 3 started off relatively quiet before the Scene Teens blog updated with another post. Hi everyone, I've seen your questions about how to save the subject guardian angel, archangel trapped in limbo. To make things short, I believe a ritual is in order. A ritual performed by multiple human beings can provide strength, righteousness, and most importantly, the possibility of transmission out of limbo. I've been compiling a series of actions for this formality. Scene Teens then went on to describe a sort of ritual called teleportation. Transmit a song that holds sentimentality to your mind. 
listen closely to it, examine an appendage, think about the effect your human brain has on it, look into your own eyes in a reflective surface and come to a conclusion about yourself as a being living the human experience. Engage in the washing and cleansing of your human hands, embed a photo of your hands to the internet, pick a plant from outside and examine it, take a photo of this plant and embed it to the internet, observe the sun or moon in the heavens above, take a photo of it and embed it to the internet, record the sky outside, embed it to the internet, tell the amount of times you exhale in 30 seconds, embed it to the internet, allow yourself to rest shortly, allow your human body to do this, tell another human that you love about something you thought about in the recent daytime, illustrate a picture of something beautiful you remember during an unconscious state with a simple tool on paper, embed it to the internet, oxygenate once, finally nourish yourself, the ability to go through the biological process of the creation of energy is what makes you human. En masse, Tumblr users followed the ritual posting photos of plants, their hands, drawings, and more on Tumblr and also a specifically created Discord. You can still see these posts today, usually tagged with Max 2019 or Teleportation, and as floods of photos came through, it seemed to trigger a change on the scene teen's blog. Suddenly the layout was changed and it appeared that it had been seized by Hurl. The last update came that evening when the day 3 page updated with this text. Please listen. Tonight I saw a figure in the endless expanse and I knew it was my guardian. I saw their body experience the effects of limbo. They let it take them. Teleportation posts had been flooding through all night and as the new day dawned, some Tumblr users began to see positive change within the accounts. Anita wrote that she was starting to feel better and the day 4 page updated with the text, I will be updating as the day goes by in the earth sphere. Writing provides me solace during this time. The power of one teleportation ritual can get an angel out of limbo under hell's radar, but the mass amounts of human beings exploring their human lives for me is overwhelming. I will be getting out and taking her with me. Tumblr users who had been messaging Sexy Girl Max 2019 also began to see positive change as they no longer responded with I'm trapped and Hurl is coming but instead claimed that they were getting out and that everything would be perfect. Anita updated her blog later that afternoon, uploading a video which showed the sun glowing brightly before panning down to a small angel statue on fire. The caption read, I was so scared I couldn't say a word but I knew something good happened and then I saw the manifestation of two angels burning bright. Soon after, the scene teen's blog was recovered and returned to normal, writing, quote, I lived, bitch. Anita told me to post this. The Neo City site was updated with a link to this image titled Final Depiction and Anita's blog was updated for the final time writing, Hi everyone, quick update. This has all been very weird to me because I don't usually share stuff like this online. They're both back. I'm so happy to have Max again. I still feel better. I feel like we've gotten over a bump. Thank you so much everybody, smiley face. Sexy Girl Max also made their own farewell post and to wrap everything up in a bow, the Neo City site was updated with a link to a page called Final Index where Max wrote at length about her experience and what had happened. Sexy Girl Max 2019 also made their own farewell post and to wrap everything up neatly in a bow, the Neo City site was updated with a link to a page called Final Index where Max wrote at length about their experience and what had all happened. And with that, Max 2019 came to a close. So if you don't know by this point, none of this was real. A lot of people, especially towards the start, thought that this might be some sort of dark, deep web mystery or the ramblings of a broken spam bot, but it was actually an ARG. I'm sure that many of you have already caught on to that fact just by me describing it, especially if you watch a lot of horror and ARG content on YouTube. For the uninformed, an ARG, or alternate reality game, is basically an interactive story slash game experience taking place online. The game masters will come up with some sort of story they want to tell and will drop clues and hints online in the form of websites, posts, videos, and more for the players to decipher. Oftentimes the player's actions will influence the story and oftentimes the players won't even know they're playing an ARG. A lot of people think they're just kind of falling into some strange rabbit hole or solving a legitimate internet mystery or case. An ARG is specifically an interactive story that relies on the players solving puzzles and interacting with the game for it to progress, while unfiction is virtually the same but doesn't require player interaction for the story to progress. For example, for example, Ash Vlogs and Ben Drowned are generally considered ARGs, while Local 58 and Petscop are considered unfiction. It's been argued over what category exactly Max 2019 fits into, but for clarity's sake I'm just going to be referring to it as an ARG. So you may have started to pick up on the story as the video's gone on and formulate your own theories, but we'll go over the general story now. Keep in mind this is a very, very simplified version and some facts may be wrong. There's a document that explains it all, but it's literally over 100 pages long, so I'll just try to keep this version 
version simple. In the story, angels take the form of online personalities and bots communicating through the internet. The story revolves around a young girl called Anita and her guardian angel Max. Max wrote in their final statement that they were not in favour of the class system between angels and heaven and hell, which resulted in them getting banished from heaven and sent to limbo. From context clues, we can tell that limbo is basically like the angel equivalent of hell, just a very unpleasant place. As Sentence wrote, angels contract the deadly sickness stench in limbo, which can result in the humans they're guarding dying. On the first day, users uncovered this image referencing someone called Celeste who seems to have died. In Max's final post, they revealed that Celeste was an angel who denounced Hill and subsequently died of sickness stench alongside her charge. As we can see, Anita is also infected with the sickness stench with her posts and even the dark spot in her bedroom lining up with the supposed symptoms. The antagonists of the story, Hurl or the Hierarchy of Angels, were hunting Sen and Max down in order to maintain control over the class system. The two tried to escape from Limbo, culminating in Sen's blog being seized by Hurl. After users performed the teleportation ritual, enough human energy was channeled to allow Max and Sen to escape, possibly explaining the video of what Anita thought was two angels glowing in the sky. The symbolism of the flaming angel may represent the destruction of Hurl. The image final depiction may also depict this with Sen and Max emerging from a mass of hands which may represent the hands of users who perform the teleportation ritual in order to destroy Hurl which was represented by Hurl's iconic red eye symbolism. As this occurred, Anita posted about feeling better and being thankful that they were both back, confirming that both Sen and Max had safely returned to the internet to watch over Anita who had also been cured of the sickness stench. As for who Sen is, well in terms of the actual ARG, they're kind of just a supplementary character who describes the plot and gives information to the players in a more direct way. In the story they seem to be an angel who's been stuck in limbo for a long time and was possibly a friend of Max's beforehand but beyond that it's not really explained. The general message conveyed at the end was one of appreciating human life and connection over the internet and with Anita, Max and Sen safe the ARG came to a happy ending. As ARGs have experienced a huge boost in popularity in recent years, the market has become somewhat flooded. For an ARG to garner any sort of audience, let alone praise, it needs to find a unique angle or niche, and Max 2019 was the first ever ARG to utilize Tumblr porn bots as a genius way to further the story. On the final day, the game makers posted out of character on the Sexy Girl Max 2019 blog, thanking players for participating. The masterminds behind this ARG, though many speculated it was a group of adults or perhaps even a company company or group of some kind was two 15 year olds going by the handle Zoopy High and Radical. In a follow up interview they wrote that the project started by accident with the two creating the original blog as a sort of joke which quickly developed into an ARG. It's incredibly impressive that these two managed to create an ARG with so many art pieces, web pages, accounts and all of that kind of stuff in the span of a week and it's super impressive considering it came to a pretty logical and satisfying conclusion. Many actual dev teams have tried and failed to create well made and positive received ARG so it's really a triumph. It's also pretty funny to note that that kind of video on the original blog of that creature sort of writhing in the TV with all these weird textures on top was done when the creators used a Minecraft shirt on a green screen. Just a <laughs> fun little bit of trivia. The ARG ended up expanding far far more than the two ever expected with an estimated over 2,000 players involved, a subreddit and even a fan wiki alongside hundreds of pieces of fan art, theory posts and even memes. It it achieved something that very, very few ARGs do and acquired its own large and dedicated fanbase who made memes about the characters and drew their own interpretations of Max, Sen, and Anita. Perhaps it was the fact that at the time ARGs weren't that common on Tumblr so it was kind of a novelty or maybe it was the fact that it was a genuinely compelling story. While it was short, it was incredibly well made and really impressive for two 15 year olds over the span of a week so it's really rightfully received its positive reputation. Unfortunately, despite its popularity at the time, Max 2019 is one of the lesser known ARGs. Coverage outside of Tumblr was very scarce and only around two videos exist on YouTube made three years ago by Rainbot and Dross Rods Tank respectively. Information aside from an incomplete wiki, a few scattered and mostly now deleted summaries and of course the 100 page document is pretty hard to find. Hopefully this video did Max 2019 justice. I know I'm not a horror ARG channel, that's definitely not my forte and there are lots of channels out there who actually do this properly, but I figured I'd cover it considering it personally and 
interests me. It's an interesting aspect of Tumblr lore and not many people really talk about it, so I figured it would be a fascinating thing to cover. So you know, next time you receive a weird DM or stumble across some random obscure website, maybe it's your guardian angel trying to tell you something. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Um, as I said, I know this isn't my usual content, um, but it personally interests me, so I figured that I'd cover it, and hopefully you guys found it interesting or entertaining. Um, let me know if you did, and let me know if you have any other suggestions for things you want me to cover. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching, thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring it, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye! A huge thank you to my Garfield overlords over on Patreon. Mothem, Agarafin, Arcantilus, Astrium Vortex, Boysenberry Switchblade, Branna Robinson, Charlie B, Chicory, Dana Homegardener, Doug, Dozo Blint, Finley, Grep Gunderson, Helm Hamburger Hand, Jesse Chisholm, Joe Bradshaw, John Leach, John o Charles Davy, Jordan Nielsen, Kimono My Gyro, Lady Cerebellum, Missy Pendragon, Pom, Red Meth, Samsung Account, Sheriff Whiskey, SHS Elsonson, Simon, Sophie Skidder, The Fabu Librarian, Tyson, Vampiric Misfit, and Xavier Araujo. As always, thank you so much for supporting me, it really means the world to me. If you want to join these guys over on Patreon, the link will be in the description, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye!